Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from four on News Talk ZB. Hey, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about whether we're ever going to be able to attract overseas investors back into our oil and gas industry. I mean, you think about it. The world has known since October last year that we were back open for business because that's when the coalition government won the election and they had a clear mandate. They said they were going to do it. They were going to reverse the oil and gas ban. But from what I can tell, no one is interested in coming here to do the work yet. And frankly, if no one has registered an interest in nine months, then I think we might need to start getting realistic about this. It's probably over. You can sort of tell also by the language that Shane Jones is using that he might be thinking that too. He's talking about trying to make it more appealing for investors to come back here by giving them these really, really long-term contracts. And it's almost desperate stuff. And I suspect it's because he can see as well that no one's nibbling. And why would they? I mean, think about this. Labor has already raised the prospect that when, when they get back in, they are open to nixing projects again. Investors will read that stuff. Who wants to put billions of dollars of investment in and then have Rachel Brooking from Labor come, come, around, come around again and ban your business? Now, what this means is, short of a miracle and you know some overseas investors taking a punt on us, we're probably going to have to make do with what we've got at the moment. And that is not a good prospect for us because we are running out of gas faster than we thought we would. This winter already, we're being told we face lights out because of that gas shortage. Seems to me, and I'm sorry to say this, but Huntley is going to be a very busy girl burning that coal for a very long time. Heather Duplessy Allen Drive, weekdays from 4 on News Talk ZB.